Hello, it's Tabby Biddle, Wise Women's Leadership Coach and Creatrix of the Goddess Leadership Program. Now, I will tell you, earlier I would never have the bravery or the courage to share with you my creative expression in that way, my devotion to the goddess, my um, self-expression from my deepest truth. For so many of us, this is true for women. We have fears about expressing ourselves in our deepest devotion to our um, belief systems. Yeah, I had a lot of fear around expressing myself in my devotion to the goddess, in my um, truth in connecting with the goddess, and th through, through song, through dance, through movement, through prayer, through ritual. And there's good reason for this. Um, if you uh, have experienced this, whatever you're in devotion to, or whatever uh, creative expression wants to come through you, women have a long history of being um, delegitimized, tortured, killed, maimed uh, for expressing who they are, expressing their truth. Um, Certainly, a lot of you are familiar with this from the more modern day, I call it modern day, post-Christianity, um, from the witch burnings that took place all over Europe where um, 9 million women were killed due to um, actually, frankly, just being who they were, women. Their expression of their devotion to the goddess and to um, the feminine force. So there's good reason. If you are someone who feels a um, little held back or um, fearful of expressing yourself in your fullest form, in your fullest creative expression in public, I want you to know that there is good reason for it. And that is exactly why your creative expression, your artistic expression is one of the most potent forces for social change. While we may think as women living in the US that we are quite liberated and that we have many choices and that we can speak our minds and use our voices, there's actually so many places within ourself that we are hiding and silencing ourselves. Because if we really stepped up, stepped into the world with our fullest expression through our bodies, through our hearts, through our souls, would we be safe? Would we be respected? Would we, would people think we were loony? <laughs> okay, that's, that's one of my big fears that I had um, as I fell into deeper and deeper connection to and devotion to the goddess. What would people think about me? And, um, and was I safe? I believe that as more and more women come into the expression of their truth. And I know truth can feel like a kind of a vague term, but it's actually quite palpable and grounded um, when you experience that in someone. 
Um, so as more women come into the fullest expression of their truth, I believe that is going to start shifting the tides of our society. I believe that as women allow themselves, give themselves permission to, and accept themselves in their deepest feminine soul expression, that that is going to help us, help you remember your own authority. Remember your own spiritual authority, your political authority, your social authority, your authority as a woman, the authority of womanhood. And as this happens, as we remember our own authority, we no longer blindly accept the underlying values and social structures that are dominant in our society. And we no longer accept ourselves as second-class citizens. As we come out more and more in our creative self-expression, we begin to experience and understand and feel our own innate essential nature, essential power as women. And we see that we don't need to be afraid of our power anymore and that neither do men and boys. This reorientation to our power and acceptance of our power is social change. Okay, so my challenge to you is actually an invitation. It's an invitation to engage in one of your favorite forms of self-expression, whether it be dancing or singing or prayer or ritual, poetry, spoken word, whatever it is for you, allow yourself to go deep into it. Allow yourself to surrender to the waves of feminine power coming through you. Allow yourself to allow the art form to be your container and allow your soul, your feminine soul to be expressed and see how it feels. Even your private self-expression, artistic expression is making social change because you are part of the collective consciousness. So your personal growth, your private self-expression becomes part of the greater tide of women's creative self-expression as political change. Please share your comments and questions below. I'd love to hear about your experience and join the Goddess Sisterhood over at tabbybiddle.com slash goddessleadership to get these videos and other feminine practices delivered straight to your inbox. Okay, bye-bye for now. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.